meteorologist Joe Lumberg. You can hear Joe Lumberg on our affiliate in New York City, mm-hmm. WINS Winds. You had a busy morning yesterday, Joe, didn't you? Indeed we did. We were talking about this. Room. It is something that we didn't just highlight last Friday, Bernie, when we chatted, but it's something our long-range team has really been looking at for a couple of weeks. We knew that there'd be something in the Caribbean. That turned out to be Melissa. And we knew there'd be a storm system along the mid-Atlantic coast as we approached Halloween. And guess what? You look at the satellite pictures, and there you can see Melissa heading out to sea right now. As I can draw the pen there, it's bypassed Bermuda overnight. And then here's our area of low pressure in the northeast all the rain and wind with that. So that's what we've been talking about over the past week or so, and it's all come to fruition. Now let's look ahead and shift our focus into the first week of November. We're going to see kind of a, an, an active jet stream across the northern tier of states. That's meaning a parade of fronts will come from the Dakotas to the northeast, the first two of which will be fairly weak. The one late in the week could be much more impactful. We'll break that down for you in a little bit. It's certainly going to be dry and warm across most of the southwest and the southern plains, and there'll be more storm in us for the northwest. Yeah, a little dip in the jet stream, Joe. Let's take a look at the pattern. There it is. And, and in fact, by the time we get in the middle part of the week, you and the team think that the rain and wind can get all the way down toward the Bay Area. It can. It can indeed. In fact, that system that comes in probably Tuesday, Wednesday, I think can bring some showers all the way down to San Francisco. It's certainly going to affect the area, uh, say, from Medford, Eugene, all the way up towards Seattle. And then you notice the big bulge in the jet stream here. That's really going to promote all the warmth of the dry weather that you'll see across the southwest of the Rockies. And some of that will come out into the central and southern plains. And the Gulf of America, that's going to be closed for business. This little upper-level low-pressure area that you see here, that's going to be moving quickly off the southeast coast. It may feed a little bit of moisture to this first front that's coming through the northeast on Monday and Monday night. But that's about it. It will be chillier that will come in behind these fronts. The second one, I think Wednesday night into Thursday, there may be enough cold air that some of these places actually see some snow. Then that strong front later in the week, that means business because finally the Gulf opens up. We'll get some moisture attached to that, and there may be an opportunity for some wet weather uh, late next week and next weekend in the eastern seaboard. All right, Joe, uh, we're heading into November. We always, you and the team always want to give everybody a little look ahead as we're looking, let's say, about two weeks from now. Yeah, in the middle part of the month, we think the jet stream relaxes behind that system next weekend. There'll be another shot of cool air for the east, but then once that moves away, we think the jet stream starts to retreat back to the north. And as it does, more of a zonal flow across the country. That means some drier weather opportunities for the northwest. It stays pretty dry across the southwest and the southern plains, but the milder air will start to spread farther in front of the east. So we do expect a warm up as we go through the middle part of November. We'll see how long that lasts as we get closer to Thanksgiving and the beginning of December. All right, Accu with a long range expert, the crystal ball meteorologist Joe Lumberg. Joe will join us again at 915.